Hi guys, Andy from Vividing Tattoo Studios and today I want to talk about heel tattoos. Okay, so what's the point in having the most amazing tattoo when it's first done and then slowly once the tattoo heals, it turns into a lesser quality tattoo? This is far from ideal now. How does this happen and what can you do to avoid it? Generally speaking, there are two most probable factors in this. These factors are the actual tattoo process being done incorrectly and the second one is poor aftercare of the new tattoo. Let's look at the tattoo process firstly. Now, there are many examples of tattoos which look amazing when they're first completed, but it doesn't heal the same way as the fresh piece. Now, I'm not gonna talk about individual cases, but if you Google badly healed tattoos, you will certainly be able to see a bunch of these. Now, in my opinion, what is the point in having the most amazing tattoo when it's first done, and then slowly once the tattoo heals, it turns into a lesser quality tattoo? Okay, let's discuss the tattoo itself. Now, if your artist is not greatly experienced or maybe doesn't have the correct techniques to make the tattoo last, then no matter what happens and how well you look after the tattoo, you're gonna see a significant drop in quality. This could be not having the correct machine and needle set up. Uh, the needle depth being wrong means it's only putting ink into the higher surface layer of skin which regenerate and not into the dermis layer of skin. And just plenty of other factors based specifically around the techniques that artists use. What's the outcome of this? Well, the tattoo might need a touch up in individual areas or the entirety of the tattoo might need fixing. And you know, this is super annoying because you've gone through the discomfort, the time and the effort to get the piece done and it should be done right first time. And returning to get it fixed might not always be possible and you know, your confidence might have been lost as well. So you don't want to get it touched up or reworked. And that makes sense, you know, generally this is something that we want to avoid at all costs. What's the best way around this? Well, the best way is to see some examples of the artist's healed work. Now, this is gonna give you a great idea about your tattoo will heal, and it should never be awkward to ask for some healed images. Now, most tattoo artists post images of their work when it's fresh, and this is generally because when the person is there getting tattooed on that day, it's easier for them to get a photograph once completed, rather than having them to return to the studio to get a healed photo. What you'll notice with heel tattoos is that the images change in some ways, but not significantly. So let's say you've got a black and gray realism piece. When it's first done, you know, the colors might be slightly darker and the skin will have a red hazy kind of color to it where the skin's being damaged in the process. Now, once it's healed, the tones of the tattoo should all remain in the same place, but they should look much more settled, uh, smoother and softer, and the skin should be back to normal color around the piece. And it will generally take an appearance that it's all calmed down. Now, if a tattoo heals badly, it will normally have chunks of ink missing, uh, colors will be significantly faded, and the general image will look a shell of its former glory when it was fresh. Now, at Vivid Ink, we are incredibly stringent and all of our artists work healing amazingly. It really is the benchmark of quality tattooing, and it's something we pride ourselves on. The other element is the aftercare. So let's say, for example, you've got a fresh tattoo and instead of following your artist's advice on how to look after it, you know, by keeping it clean and moisturized and protected, you decide to go in the opposite direction and you let it dry up, you don't keep it clean and you generally ignore the essential aftercare. It won't be your artist's fault if the tattoo fades, it's gonna be your own. Now, following the aftercare avoids larger scabs from forming, you know, not like the smaller flakes, which is completely normal, but the larger, more solid scabs, which lead to ink falling out of the piece. So make sure you follow the aftercare advice given to you as closely as you can. Now, all tattoos are gonna fade slightly and they're gonna settle into your skin over time. So if there are some changes, it's completely normal. But generally, a well-heeled tattoo is a work of art on you for life and you've taken the time, the money and the effort to have it done. So make sure you have a reputable artist with a good example of their healed work undertake it. And most importantly, make sure you look after it as best as you can. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I'll catch you guys soon.